Hello everyone, it is I, Zypekai. Programming languages, huh? Such weird things they are. Some are loved, some are hated. So I have decided to do something very controversial. I will be rating some popular programming languages. Now, every programming language is special in its own way, so I'll be rating them in three categories. Efficiency, learning curve, and portability. Efficiency is how fast it runs. Learning curve is how easy it is to learn, and portability is how easy it is to run on other operating systems. Hey, before we start, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's get into the video. Let's start with a very popular one, JavaScript. If you don't know what JavaScript is, go back to your rock you've been living under. No need to talk about JavaScript a lot if you're doing web, you need JavaScript. Unless you're Mark Zuckerberg and use PHP, but we'll get into that. In terms of efficiency, I will rate it 3 out of 5. It's a fast language, don't get me wrong, but many modern websites take like 10 seconds to load nowadays. In terms of learning curve, I'll rate it a 4, as it's very easy to start off with. Yes, it does get more complicated when you're making bigger things, but at that point, you will know the language well enough. In terms of portability, I will give it a 5 out of 5. It runs on basically any web browser. Except Internet Explorer. But that's dead now! Up next, we have C and C++. I'm grouping these together because in terms of the rating categories I have, they don't differ that much. These languages are used for anything related to speed. Almost all programs you use nowadays are written in C or C++. Now, what to rate them? For efficiency, I will rate them a 5 out of 5. They're almost the fastest there is, so this deserves a 5. In terms of learning curve, I will give them a 3. I know there's tons of people who can easily say they learned them in 2 weeks from an old book, but many programmers struggle when learning the ins and outs of these languages. But leave your opinion in the comments below. I'd love to know how long it took for you. In terms of portability, I will give them a 2 out of 5. Sometimes the code you wrote just won't work on another operating system, or sometimes in another compiler. It's not too bad, but I think everyone has heard of it works on my machine, so that's why I give it a 2. Let's do Python next. I have a love and hate relationship with Python. I love how easy but efficient it is. However, I don't like the fact that a lot of stuff needs libraries to function, and those libraries are sometimes millions of lines long and might not be the most efficient. However, I really like using it. And it's great to use a very high level programming language every now and then. So for efficiency, I will give it a 3. There's no doubting that Python is a well enough language when it comes to speed, but it is interpreted, and it just cannot compare to the speeds of compiled languages. I will give it a 5 when it comes to the learning curve. It's a very easy language to learn and master. I was using it when I was 7 years old. If this dum dum can learn it, anyone can. For portability, I will give it a 4. It runs on practically anything as long as there's an interpreter for it. The point off is because of libraries. There's no easy way to pack them into the file itself, so usually the end user has to install the libraries themselves. Now we have PHP, oh god, I don't want to talk about PHP. Just watch a Fireship video about it. Here are my ratings. Efficiency is 4, learning curve is 2, and portability is 5. Let's just move on to something else. Java. Oh my dear god. Let's talk about Java. Hey, it was a thingy that made the best-selling game that was made by some Swedish guy. It was made as a joke when the devil got bored and spat out this language from hell. It is used to psychologically torture prisoners of war and execute criminals. But for real, it's mainly used for backend development with Spring, game development with lightweight Java game library, and enterprise software development. Time to rate it. For efficiency, I will give it a 4. It's not the fastest language, but it's fast enough. Learning curve... Well, learning it is very easy, so a 5. However, debugging it? Fixing errors? Weird Maven compatibility errors? <laughs> because of all that, I rate learning curve a 1. One can learn Java, but no one can master it. And for portability, I give it a 5. It was literally made to run on anything. If you write a JVM for it, it will run. PC? Sure. Phone? Sure. Toaster? Why not? Smartwatch? Probably. Well, do you agree with these ratings? Let me know down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We are super close to 40k and I think we can do it before February. So, see you all very soon. Zyp guy out.